Now, um, we'll worry about the, the hair later. Um, uh, right here, you got the little distortion in the neck. And again, you know, we can just go back in and we can erase that and blend it that way. Um, so like I said, you know, when you're using your own image to sample uh, for pixels, it's, I mean, it is so easy just to take those pixels from that same image and reuse them somewhere else because the lighting's the same, the pixels should be the same. Now he looks like he's got like a double, triple chin, um, which we can kind of eliminate some of those chins um, just by, you know, simply erasing it. Um, but for the most part, you see how that caricature is turning out right now. So if you look at it again, right there, you know, you got Will Ferrell, big chin, uh, you know, big eye, small eye, you know, now what we can do is we can make his mouth smaller or bigger, um, which I personally would like to see his nose smaller. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the, the base image. And again, I like to copy each individual part of the body to focus just on that one part. Uh, so you want to get a bigger area around the nose. You don't just want to get the nose uh, itself when you select it because then you'll have to do a lot more cleanup later. So you want to get the pixels also around the nose to help blend in. So again, this is what I selected. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. So now I've got another version of his nose waiting there. All right, so now let's just transform that a little bit. Actually, let's distort it. Edit. Uh, I forgot the short key for distort. Okay, so I definitely want to change that shape up a little bit. Kind of give him more of a shorter type Irish nose, I think. Or I don't know, maybe just a shorter nose. Okay, so now there we go. Now it's important to keep some of these extra pixels below the nose in the, the, the region of the mouth because this is what's going to blend in. If I go too high, you start to come up to the nose. So I definitely want to make sure to keep it in a, a, a well, uh, proc a good proximity of the nose, of the actual nose. So when I blend the pixels, it'll blend in nice and smooth. Okay, again, let's just erase it. Make sure your flow is short or a small amount of flow and just slowly blend in the pixels. Yeah, as you see, I kind of went a little far, so let's go back in the history a little bit just to take care of that. Right, this is the only area I'm concerned with. Um, see, I went too far up in the nose, and I'm still going too far up in the nose, so i got to be very, very careful. Just blend some of the outer edges um, so I can preserve it. And along the top, the bridge of the nose, make sure I got that blended in. Okay, so now let's zoom out a little bit. You can also click on the little hand tool or the magnifying glass to go back to your screen. So um, there you go. You have a nice short little caricature of Will Ferrell. Um, now what I was thinking is with the hair, because he's got such a big old head of hair, let's kill that layer. Let's kill the middle layer where the hair was. Um, what I'm thinking now is let's just take the base um, here and we'll blend in this base to the background. Now here uh, what I want to do is I want to use a mask tool. So I'm going to select my will base right over here and I'm going to select this little button on the layer icon or the layer um, layer option says add layer mask. Now what this does is right next to the to the actual image or icon of will you get a little uh, layer mask thumbnail. Now what this does is it allow you you see how on the right sand, or left hand side of the screen you have your foreground and your background. What this allow you to do as long as you got this selected and uh, you notice how you can click on the image and you can actually work on that image by uh, manipulating the actual pixels which you don't want to do that you want to stay on make sure the layers chosen or the uh, the mask is chosen because then you can do cool stuff like this um, let's get a larger size brush and just to show you exactly what it does um, you see how I can erase now um, 
But now here's a cool part. You see how this little it shows the erasing part up on the layer mask. If I want to say, oops, I messed up, you just switch over the background to foreground. And what it'll do is you can go back and change it up the way it was. And all it does is it toggles between adding and subtracting from that original image. So let's go back again. And again, you want to work with a, a, a flow a smaller flow just because it helps blend in the image and this helps a great deal when you're uh, working with within an image you know multiple copies of your image because you're using you're able to use the same pixels over and over and over again and it'll look fluid it'll look consistent you don't have to worry about too many lighting problems because it's the same image the same lighting the same skin tone okay so now um, now he's got a bigger fro so now let's just close all those layers and show you exactly what we did. Okay, there you got the nose. Here you got the eyes. And then let's go and turn them all on. So there you go. That's one character.